Today's episode sponsored by StockX. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 270 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. And today's episode is gonna be a nice clean and minimal edition, always a fan favorite. If you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. So let's kick it off, 270. Now kicking us off today is Awkward Roof 115 with a super clean setup, loving the vibes of this. Single monitor, lots of black and white in the peripherals, nice little plant. The plant disappeared because as you'll see for the picture submissions here, we had the setup from two different times, two different sort of uh, states if you will, but we'll check it out regardless. For that single monitor, we have an ASUS 27-inch, the VG27Q1A, used in conjunction with this iPad Pro through Sidecar. And for its peripherals, we have a HyperX Alloy Origins Core with some aftermarket keycaps and Logitech G304. However, you'll notice now in this photo, things are a bit different. Completely new set of peripherals, all black and white here. Got a Razer Siren Mini in the background as well. I said black ground. background. Background. And I don't know what this certain setup is because we didn't really get any further provided peripheral specs or anything. So yeah, we went from a Origins Core to now a 65% keyboard, but that's okay. I don't want to focus too, too much on the specifics here. Um, I just like taking a look and appreciating the setup for what it is. And again, for a clean and minimal edition, this one fits it perfectly. Fantastic job on cable management as well. Practically nothing under the desk or on the floor. Really nice job with that. So awkward roof 115. Really digging what you have here for us. Again, really just the essentials and necessities here. A smaller confined space, sure, but it came out beautifully. Now, before we move on to the next setup, like I mentioned before, this episode is sponsored by StockX. And the whole idea behind Room Tour Project as a series was to show off you know, those really great setup creations to give you ideas of inspiration. So when it comes to perfecting and building your setup, you always want to own it. And that's exactly what StockX lets you do, own it. And StockX.com is filled with a ton of really unique collectibles, among other things, and I've found some killer deals. That also means if you're looking for some really cool pieces, whether it's artwork, certain clothing, collectibles, anything to add to your setup to take it to that next level, that's where StockX comes in. They also have a ton of really cool like limited releases. Things like hard to find pop figures. I've been eyeing a few limited skateboards that you can't find anywhere. They have such a wide variety of stuff that I haven't found online anywhere else to buy. And speaking of which, that's where this comes in because I bought something near and true to my heart. As a lot of you know, I'm a Pokemon fan. And down here in the studio, I have a whole shelf dedicated to a lot of nostalgic items, as well as a whole section dedicated to Pokemon, which is like I said before, if you're trying to build that next piece to your setup, to take it to the next level, a lot of times it's finding that personal item to add to your setup that can really just elevate it. And that's where this comes in. All right, so I'll leave it for a surprise as we get it unboxed here, but I'm always looking for really cool cards and special ones that are near and dear to me, like I said, to add to my collection. And when I sell this on StockX, I put a bid in immediately. Oh, yes. All right, let's dive in now. I'll show you guys what we got and check this out. A shadowless holographic Mewtwo. Again, you know, if you're a 90s kid, Mewtwo was like the most sought after Pokemon out of all the lore, pretty much. Just like the rarity of the character itself. So picking this one up, long overdue. Man, I am just super pumped I was able to find this and pick it up to add it to the rest of my collection. So if you want to always own it as well, I'll have a link to StockX in the description down below. Next up, we have Daniel Titchener from his YouTube channel. He's going to be guiding us through his setup, which is a beaut. So I'll toss it over to him. To start things off, the foundation of this setup is the new Sway Desk from Ergon Office. I paired this frame with a beautiful 30 by 60 inch maple desktop that's locally handcrafted out of thick, solid, locally sourced Canadian timber. And what I think sets this desk apart from others are the whisper quiet motors and a sleek touchscreen interface that's recessed into the timber desktop, where there's an incredibly satisfying tactile swipe gesture that encourages me to switch my desk between my preset standing and sitting heights. This is my Gigabyte M32U, which is not only 4K and 32 inches wide, but also 144 hertz for fast paced first person shooter games like Warzone. 
The reason I chose this monitor over others is because it provides a high enough resolution and colour accuracy for video editing, but also a high enough refresh rate for gaming, meaning that I can do everything off one monitor, which is really helpful for satisfying my compulsive minimalist tendencies. Powering this whole setup is my NZXT H1 gaming PC, which really packs a punch for its tiny size, with a Ryzen 5900X processor and NVIDIA 2070 Super graphics card. And as PCs are upgradable, I will be swapping these components out as needed, which makes a ton of financial sense when compared to something like a laptop or a Mac, as you don't have to replace the whole unit. Despite thinking it looks pretty awesome, I still decided to mount it to the underside of the desk using a really affordable PC mount which simply hangs it with straps. And because this case is so compact, it makes this small but mighty all-in-one setup almost invisible. On top of the desk, I added in a solid maple desk shelf from Grovemade that matches the maple desk perfectly. Under the desk shelf, there's still enough space to store and charge my laptop, which is the Razer Blade 14, which isn't really part of the setup, but I do keep it handy for travel and remote work, and here I can leave it to charge using a super sleek and compact 200 watt GAN charger from Ugreen that provides all of the super fast charging I could possibly need across all of my devices. Moving on to peripherals, I'm still rocking the Iconix F96 Knight wireless mechanical keyboard, which has RGB LED backlighting that I usually leave off for battery life and cherry brown switches, which aside from suiting my minimal aesthetic by having really subtle lettering, it provides a gorgeous tactile and satisfying typing experience. I've paired this keyboard with a Logitech G305 gaming mouse that I debadged with some rubbing alcohol and I've found this to complement the keyboard perfectly as it's not only lightweight and highly accurate but it's also black with a really minimal and understated design. When using a keyboard and mouse, I've also found that using a soft, medium-sized desk mat really makes working at a desk a lot more pleasant to the touch. I decided to go for this grey synthetic leather desk mat to match the metal of the desk shelf, and because it's also relatively inexpensive, it means I don't have to worry about damaging it with things like heat or condensation from cold drinks. When it comes to lighting, I also added in a light bar that I got sent from BenQ, and the brightness and colour temperature can be set to whatever your preference is using the wireless battery powered control wheel. Although my monitor speakers may be fine for occasional YouTube videos or podcasts, they are most definitely not clear enough for editing, gaming or listening to music. So right now, I almost exclusively use my headphones, which are the Bose NC700s. And as you can probably see, they get a ton of daily use. To keep these conveniently on hand without ruining my uncluttered aesthetic, I installed a simple headphone hook and white pen drawer next to the desk interface, which not only keeps my headphones out of sight, but also makes this a hidden spot for pens and other small items. So again, really loving this setup. I'll put his channel in the description down below so you can check out his full setup video. Just loving it. Now we've got Dylan K coming in with the dual monitor setup here, completely black and white, most likely edited photos, I'd assume, because there's just no saturation anywhere to be found. But again, it helps fits it uh, to more of that vibe, I'd say, right? So the main monitor is an LG 34 inch ultra wide with the vertical monitor off to the left being a 24 inch from AOC. And the LG ultra wide does have one of those monitor light bars up top to free up some of the desktop space since there is no physical desktop lamp. That chair, by the way, is the Haworth Fern Chair. Figured I'd see a bunch of questions about it. Now, down to the peripherals have a really nice custom here. It's the KBD Fans Tofu 60 in E-White, pairing nicely to his Razer Viper Ultimate in the Mercury Edition on a Cooler Master MP510 mouse. And his IEMs are the Sennheiser IE300s for his audio, going right along with the Triangle Borea BR02 bookshelf speakers in white, looking gorgeous here, powered by the SMSL SA300 amp. 
and in that microphone is the Shure MV7X. Now keeping that black and white going, over to the PC, loving this build with the Leon Lee 011 Dynamic Mini Snow Edition case. We have an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 CPU with the NZXT Kraken Z53 White AIO. 32 gigs of T-Force Extreme ARGB RAM on an ASRock Steel Legend X570 motherboard with a Sapphire Nitro RX 5700 XT GPU. Man, oh man, that was a lot of gear for this setup, but also, again, a peak of cable management, beautiful job, 10 out of 10, absolutely nothing out of place. And that's the whole story for this entire setup here from Dylan. Absolutely nothing is out of place. It is pristine. It is a gorgeous, purposely black and white setup here. So nice. Then... Oh my god, Brendan coming in with the jaw dropper, the knee slapper, with... <clears throat> this is wild. I love this aesthetic. That nice cool gray wall balanced perfectly by the amount of green with the plants in the room, the wooden accents. This is such a fantastic aesthetic. So let's dive right into here. The solo monitor is from Gigabyte. It's the AD27QD, 27 inches, 1440p, 144 hertz. A perfectly fitting wallpaper choice as well, fits in gorgeously. Then down to the peripherals, Brendan's rocking a Keychron K8 with Boba U4 T-switches inside, and GMK Olive Clone keycaps to fit the theme as well, with Logitech G502 mouse on a Razer Goliath Speed mouse pad. I would say, small little mouse pad there, maybe go wireless for the mouse as well, would just make the desktop appearance a lot cleaner. But speaking of clean, I cannot get my eyes off these gorgeous speakers from Kef. It's the Q150, the Walnut Edition, and these are just delicious. They are a pretty penny though, so maybe don't eat them. And they are powered by the Topping MX3 amp. Now over to that PC you see in the corner, love it a nice small form factor case. This is the Loki Ghost S1 Mark III with a Ryzen 5800X, a Noctua L12 Ghost Edition cooler, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM, got an Asus B550i motherboard, finished off with an EVGA RTX 3060 Ti graphics card, all in that super compact footprint. And then up on the Ikea Scottish pegboard, got some custom uh, like fire truck Legos that he created by himself. Loving the symmetry, loving the little splash of color. But man, Brendan, this is 100% up there with one of my favorite setups of the year. Again, you guys know me, you know my aesthetic, you know my vibe, this is perfect. Symmetry, on point. The prints above the wall, on point. The color theme, everything about it, so perfect. Then last but not least today, we have Charlie P with literally the minimalist of minimal here with a super bare bones desktop here. Again, just the essentials, but a massive 43 inch ultra wide monitor at 120 hertz from Electra IQ, Electra IQ, I don't know, Electra Q. But yeah, that monitor, 43 inches, matching RGB, matching wallpaper, a really killer sort of bedroom gaming setup here, as you can see. Also, clean and minimal as well. Got the gaming setup, then kick back in bed for the night. Got these uh, knives. I don't know much about them. I know in the community, like Counter-Strike and stuff, maybe it's based off that. I really don't know, but I know they're a hot commodity, uh, potentially. I could be wrong. But yes, really digging this one from Charlie here. Checking out some of his peripherals though, we have a Razer Black Widow V3 keyboard paired with the Razer Death Adder V2 Pro on the Razer Firefly mouse pad. And this is all actually powered off a MacBook Air which he has tucked underneath a sort of a cabinet on the right side of the desk along with his Xbox Series S. So like I said, does it fit the bill? Is it clean and minimal? Definitely. Nice organized bedroom, nice organized desk setup over here. Just the right amount really of the flair with the colorful theme at nighttime when the lights are off, the RGB goes on, matching it all to the wallpaper. Good stuff, Charlie P. So all right guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 270 of Room Tour Project, the clean and minimal edition. Hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, all the gear and hardware we showed off, we listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out, as well as the link for StockX. And also, if you want to submit your setup, check the description down below for all the instructions laid it out for you. Super simple. Just check down below for it all. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. 
Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.